Hey everyone, this is Kyle with Digital Tutors. In today's top tip video, I'm going to be showing you how within 3ds Max you can take your favorite or your most commonly used modifiers and then save those as a custom button inside the user interface. All right, so within 3ds Max, uh, we have a couple of different ways of accessing our modifiers. The first and uh, most prominent way is whenever we select our object, we have our modifier list. So within this, uh, we have basically all of the different modifiers that could be applied to the object that we have selected. Now you can see that this is a pretty extensive list, so if we really have just a handful of modifiers that we use very frequently, it can start to become pretty tedious to continuously look through this list and then pick out the uh, couple of different modifiers that we are actually needing to access. Now another way that we could access this is actually through the modifiers list. Now this does a little bit better job of actually breaking these modifiers apart into different sections and different groupings but still it can be sort of uh, tedious and difficult to continuously go through this menu and find the uh, one or two modifiers that we really may need to use continuously. So this is where a feature of 3ds Max really starts to come in handy. The ability to create what's called a modifier set. So these modifier sets can be found inside our uh, modifier panel. Let's first go into our uh, little button right here which is our configure modifier sets. First option we need to enable is this show buttons. So let's turn this on. Now once we do this, we can start to see some of these individual buttons. Now at this point, we can start to come in here and begin separating uh, just what we see. So it starts to become uh, very, very similar to this grouping of modifiers that we have over here. So for example, if we wanted to, let's say, just look at the animation modifiers, we can come back to our modifier sets and set this back to animation modifiers. And now uh, we still have access to this pull-down menu, but at the same time, now we have just these handful of buttons over here that we can come in and quickly access the modifiers that are responsible for animation. And maybe if we're doing a lot of UV work and a lot of texturing work, we could turn on things like the UV coordinate modifiers, and now we have quick and easy access to these different modifiers uh, for unwrapping our objects, applying textures, things like that. Now, where this really starts to become useful is we can actually create our own custom uh, groupings of modifiers. So if we do uh, this, we can come in and let's just start by going into configure modifier sets. So at the moment, you see our UV coordinate modifiers, and this just happens to correspond with the list uh, that we have last used. And in my case, that's the UV coordinate modifiers. Now we can take this existing window and use this to begin populating our own custom modifiers. So we have control over the total number of buttons that we have. Let's say in my case I want to keep this a little bit simpler just for demonstration purposes. I'll keep this at something like 4. And now I can start to uh, populate this with the modifiers that I want to use. So let's say I like to use something like this bend. So I can just simply take that, drop it into the button, and now that becomes my bend modifier. So I'll populate this with a few more just for demonstration sake. Let's say we also use something like a twist. I'll use maybe a turbo smooth and maybe a quick unwrap UVW. There we are. So we can grab that, populate that. Now we can also take some of these different buttons if we wanted to rearrange the order of these. We can still take these and drag and drop these to rearrange. So once we have our button set up, we now just need to come in and give this a custom name. So we'll call this something like Kyle's Buttons. There we are. And let's just save that and press OK. Now you can see we have uh, my custom buttons that I've set up. So I can very quickly and easily come in. So let's say I wanted to add maybe just a quick twist to this object. There we are. We can come over to this guy, maybe give it a quick bend. So you can start to see, again, just very, very quickly how we can come in here and take just the handful of different modifiers that we really like to use, that we're using very commonly and very frequently, and start to uh, save these and store these as our own custom modifiers. And you can really see just how much faster your workflow can become uh, just by focusing on these handful of modifiers, as opposed to having to go through and continuously look through this really, really long list uh, for the handful of modifiers that you really need.